Hey, it's me, Bendy Ellie. It's been a few weeks since I've posted on this channel because, as most of you guys probably know, I hurt my ankle and I was in a boot for a few weeks, but I'm back now. My ankle is fine. And today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to do a chin stand. Eye on your stomach and you kick your feet over your head and try to get them to touch the ground. Well, I'm gonna teach you a few like ways to do a chin stand, like if you're not really flexible and if you are really flexible, and if you have your chin stand, some fun poses to do in it. So let's get started. So before we work on our chin stand, we need to warm up our back. If you're already warmed up, you can skip through this part. If you're not, then go ahead and just warm up with me. So we're just gonna start with a back bend. If you can't do a back bend, then I'll show you something else you can do to warm up. But also if you can't really do a back bend, it may not be the best idea for you to try a chin stand. But if you can't do a back bend, if you wanna stretch your back more, do your um, upward dog. If you do have your back bend, go ahead and stretch it. Lift one leg up. All right, once you feel like your back is warmed up enough, we're gonna work on the actual chin stand part of it. So if you are not very flexible and you're like, I don't think I can do a chin stand. Well, actually first, let me actually show you what a chin stand is. So if you're like, yeah, I can't do that. I am not that flexible. Then um, you're gonna find something taller. So what I'm gonna use, is so I'm gonna move this bird sign off of this, I guess. We have like 11 birds, we love birds. If you do not have your chin stand and you do not think you are flexible like at all, like, yeah, you just are not flexible at all. What you're gonna do, you're gonna get something high. You're gonna just try to do your chin stand but have your feet touch that higher object because that's a lot easier. And if you can't do a chin stand, this will help you be able to get to it. So, I would try to get my feet to touch this black thing, okay? If that's easy for you, start moving smaller, smaller, and smaller until you get to the floor. Then, if you're flat on the floor, I'm gonna show you some cool poses to do in a chin stand. If you can get flat like this, Are going to work on straightening your legs. Now it's kind of weird, but sometimes, like for me, one back side is more flexible than the other. Like in my chin stand, I can straighten my left leg, but I can't quite straighten my right leg. And that's because I like to do my right splits. So I've practiced arching back and, sorry, one minute. I've practiced arching back and grabbing this leg, but I haven't really practiced grabbing the other leg. So that's why I can normally straighten this leg, but I can't really straighten this leg because I haven't practiced grabbing this one. My dog just brought snow in the house. That's not fun. You get one leg straight. You're gonna grab that leg and you're gonna push your other one back so you're in a split. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.